All right, we're at the uh, second annual Plymouth Whalers alumni game and an alum in great standing, uh, James Neal, who's a big part of the 06-07 championship team. And James, when I think about that team, as time went on, uh, the Whalers uh, physically beat and mentally beat teams down. It had to be a lot of fun to be part of that. Yeah, we had uh, you know a lot of a lot of 19-year-olds that year, and we we had a, we had a great squad. Uh, you know, playing with Jared Bull and uh, and Evan Brophy, uh, you know, it was uh, it was my pleasure, and uh, you know, we we had a great year. It seems like, uh, and I, I mentioned this with Jared Bull, it seemed like the the dirtier the buildings were, and the most the more hostile the crowds were, the better you guys played. And I'm thinking of uh, the old Windsor Arena and yeah. uh, Sudbury, of course, where they had uh, the Plymouth car that they were beating up outside the rink. That's but, right. Uh, that seemed to be uh, where you guys played some of your best yeah, hockey. Yeah, it was just we, you know, we had so much fun being around each other, and uh, you know that, that that's what it was. And you know, anytime we uh, you know got into it with uh, with the fans and the team, it was uh, it was always fun. And uh, you know, we used to always uh, you know just enjoy being around each other, and it was uh, it was great to great to see, and it was great to be around everybody. You scored uh, maybe the most important goal in that season, the championship uh, clinching game uh, goal back. Uh, in overtime, uh, what do you remember from that play? Yeah, it was all Evan Brophy. You know, he came down the right wing and, you know, he, he faked, faked, and then, uh, you know, got the goalie to, you know, bite on uh, bite on the right side there, and then I just went right down the middle, and it was uh, it was an open net. But uh, what a feeling that was. And, uh, you know, to top off a year and be able to go to Vancouver was, uh, you know, something we'll never forget, and uh, it was a special time. Now, you've spent your NHL career with Dallas, and they're in a bit of transition. I mean, Red Wings just signed Mike Modano. I would say the Red Wings would be smart to, to uh, <laughs> sign you instead as a restricted free agent. But uh, you've had a pretty good run in Dallas, and uh, it's a younger team. Uh, I think that bodes well for you. Yeah, we're uh, you know we got a lot of uh, young guys coming up here, and it's kind of you know switching switching over to uh, you know us taking the reins with uh, with Mike gone and uh, and Marty gone. So you know they're uh, the the core group, and uh, you know the faces of the franchise for so many years, and. Uh, you know, it's a, kind of the way the league's turning now, and uh, especially in Dallas. But uh, it's uh, it's good for young kids, and it's good for myself. And uh, you know, it's uh, it's time to step up, and uh, you know, really, really do your thing. James, we'll let you go. It's always a pleasure. You know, you're welcome in this building anytime. All the best to you and your family, and uh, keep up the great work in Dallas. It's Thanks a lot, a Trevor. Appreciate okay. it.